Thank you for joining in and listening in on today's lesson for Kitchen Display System, or KDS, for NCR Silver. As a quick overview, the KDS, or Kitchen Display System, re reduces the need to have a kitchen printer. This helps to save paper and time in sending the message to the kitchen staff. Please note, this feature is available for NCR Silver Pro restaurants only, and a local server or Mac Mini is required to use the KDS connection. Clients must pay an additional monthly subscription fee to use this feature. If you have any questions about that fee, feel free to reach out to our sales team or to your local sales representative. Now this is the display for your kitchen display system. You'll notice we have several different colors. And these color indicators are dependent on the timing threshold established by the merchant. So new orders appear blue. Yellow orders are aged orders that have passed the first threshold time set in the back office, while the red ones are the old orders that have passed the second threshold. At that point, red means you really need to step up your game and get on out. You'll notice we have some other options on the screen. For example, if your screen exceeds active or eight tickets and you need to scroll to the next panel, feel free to hit the arrow to the right. We can also change our orders from active to completed. Or if we accidentally bumped an order, we can retrieve it by hitting the three lines icon to bring out a slide out panel and go to find the most recently bumped order. Now bumping. To bump an order, you simply tap the box and a bump option will appear. Click the bump button and it will remove itself from the active options. So when using the KDS, you'll notice that large orders might span across two spaces. And if they do, the ticket image on the display will show a perforated edge indicating the order continues across two cells. Additional items ordered will have add-on shown at the top. So if more items are sent to the kitchen after the first batch of items was already sent to the kitchen, the additional items will be shown inside the same routed order, but each additional batch of items will be separated from the previous item with a small separator saying add-on. To reiterate the option for bumping, once an order is prepared, the user can tap the order to bump it from the kitchen display and mark it as prepared and the store device that it was prepared on. For the voided orders, these are items or orders that are voided after a ticket is sent to the kitchen display will appear with a strike through the voided item or the entire order. The user must still bump them from the device to no longer view it on the screen. And let's talk about setting up the KDS. First and foremost, we need to make sure it's configured correctly within the back office. So we'll first need to log into the back office at mystore.ncrsilver.com and click on Settings wheel at the top right of the page. We then click on Kitchen Routing, select the desired kitchen group, and add a device. Once we add the device, we'll make sure to name it, provide the video option, and enter the Level 1 and Level 2 timing threshold. Once the orders pass through the threshold, they will change color just like we saw on an earlier screen. So let's take a look. We would need to go under Settings, Kitchen Routing, and then Add a Device. Once we name the device, we choose Video and put in the timing thresholds, which are established by seconds. So 180 seconds is 3 minutes, while 300 seconds is 5 minutes. We'll hit Save Changes, and now we've added on the video option. The only thing we left to do is choose which order modes that these items can be applied, and to further the group them within a kitchen group. Now the KDS unit itself is established on an additional iPad, which is usually the iPad Pro. It is its own app from the App Store, so you just need to locate the Kitchen Display System for NCR Silver app in the App Store, launch it, and then associate it to the back office kitchen routing profile that we have established. 
from the POS side, we would then need to connect it by logging in, clicking the three lines icon, settings, and then adding in the kitchen printer. Once we locate the printer, just like we do with a standard printer, it will be connected on the app itself. And once it's connected, here are some examples of what it will look like within the system. No matter if you have one or two stations or more, a Mac Mini is required. The Mac Mini acts as a local server, so that way the information is passed in faster real-time mode from your station to the KDS unit. Let's look at another complicated design where we still include our KDS. Here, we have two stations with one of the printers being a receipt printer as well as a bar printer, and our KDS is still our kitchen unit. Now let's do a quick benefits recap. Remember, this is a one bill option. No third party software vendors are needed because this is all done in house through NCR Silver. We're helping your kitchen staff to improve efficiency as digital solutions are quicker. We minimize mistakes so everyone can see the order and contacts and your store and your staff information will be more accurate. You're also implementing a greener footprint, so go paperless. Reduce the ongoing hassles and expense of refilling your printer with ink and paper. Just save time and be environmentally friendly. Now this is optimizing your kitchen so you'll have separate screens for each station and you'll be able to turn tables quicker. That's it for our KDS recap.